on my break. And I work for seven hours. I still have seven. Oh, I work for seven hours today. I still have four hours left. Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna go crazy. I'm only used to working six hours max, but they usually only schedule me like four or five hours a day, three days a week. So, I hope you guys are enjoying this. So I'm off of work and I'm sitting on the couch and I am in so much pain right now. I like want to cry like I'm on the verge of tears because it hurts that bad um so this would be my first period today I started my period since my biopsy oh my god I feel like this is my first period ever that's how bad it hurts but again I thought it would be interesting to share and I thought it would be interesting to share that Sometimes after a biopsy, your first period, after your first cycle, after a biopsy can be very painful. And that's normal. Um, it's not something that my doctor warned me about or even anything that was in the paperwork. So that's definitely something that should be changed. And um, at least because when I started to feel the intense cramps at work, it, it really worried me. I was like, what's going on? Like. Should I go to the bathroom? Like, do I have, like, it was just, yeah. Um, so, and apparently this happens to a lot of women because it's, it's getting a piece of your cervix cut off is not, um, natural. It's, com it's not something that would happen if doctors didn't exist. So it's just something that's very intrusive and, um, I don't want to say the word damaging, but in a way it is. Your body's trying to heal from what has been chopped off of it. And I'm sure now that my uterus is starting to get, you know, slough off the, the uterine lining, what was cut off is still sore. It's still healing. So that, you know, it makes sense that I would experience such intense cramping and contraction like surges of intense pain um, after having a biopsy because I'm not fully healed yet I mean it's only been like I said two and a half weeks and so yeah it's given my my uterus some time to heal but it's not fully healed it's not and it probably won't be fully healed for six weeks to eight weeks so I might experience another intense period and that's also normal and not something that my doctor told me about, warned me about, not something that I was um, aware about. I wasn't aware of this prior to, <clears throat> to a biopsy and I did research. I did research on, you know, the, the procedure I was getting done, cold, cold, Culp scopy as well as a biopsy. Me being a nurse, it's not like I didn't have professional educated um, information on both of those procedures and still somehow I was completely out of the know for first, first period after it. The <clears throat> and, and I, nobody ever mentioned it or explained that this could possibly happen or the reason behind this happening. So I thought I would address that topic in this situation if somebody out there is experiencing a very intense period after a biopsy or a col colposcopy, just know it's normal. And you know, try to make yourself as comfortable as possible. Don't worry about it. Um, I think it's it's the stress of <clears throat> of worrying about things like that 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 also get to you and kind of make it worse. So just know that it's normal. Keep an eye on it. Manage your pain 
and relax. Try to take it easy. You know, you deserve it because whew, this is intense. Um, so yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day. Even if you are in pain, you know, still try to keep a smile on your face. I do. I know it's hard. Um, but, you know, you have so much to smile about. Be grateful about your life. Be grateful about your day. Be grateful about everything around you. You woke up today. It's exciting. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope this video helps somebody. I hope you are well out there. Stay blessed, friends. Bye.